Hey friends, welcome. Uh, today we are going to discuss microstate and macrostate. As the name suggests, micro it is related to the microscopic properties and macro so these are the larger properties or these are the larger states. Now in statistical thermodynamics, as we know that the particles they exist in the phase space and this phase space is divided into large number of cells. Now all the particles they are present in specific cells. So microstates they are nothing but they are the particles that are present in that in that phase space or in the cell so microstates are nothing but they are the particles or they are the different arrangements of the particles that are present in the cell and the total properties that are related to or the properties because of this particles which are present in the phase space or in the cell are known as macrostate. So suppose as we have seen or suppose let me take one example that uh, suppose we are having a cylinder and in that cylinder a gas is filled. Now as we know that the gas consists of large number of particles and these particles they are continuously in motion. So the energy the momentum of and these particles they are always colliding so the energy as well as the momentum of the particle is continuously changing and the position of the particles is also continuously changing so we can say that they are giving different arrangements at different amount of time so this arrangement or these particles are nothing but they are referred as microstates and the properties due to this particle like we can say temperature or we can say pressure or we can say volume irrespective of the arrangement of the particles the temperature pressure and the volume of the system remains same and hence these properties are known as macro state of the system so microstates are nothing but they are the different arrangements of the particle in the space or we can say in the piston and the properties which are because of the arrangement of the particles is known as macrostate. Uh, let us understand by taking one more example. Nowadays there is a game which is played very much and that is Ludo and in Ludo two dice are thrown uh, in order to get the sum of that dice. So suppose if I throw a die, if I throw a die and in order to get number 5 the possible combinations would be I should get 2 plus 3 so in order to get the sum 5 the total possibilities are either I should get 2 plus 3 or it should be 3 plus 2 or it should be 4 plus 1 or it should be 1 plus 4 so these are the 4 possibilities by getting or these are the 4 possibilities by which I can get the total or sum 5 ok so over here irrespective of the internal arrangement the outer arrangement remains the same ok suppose I am getting 4 plus 1 that will also be equal to 5 if I get 3 plus 2 it will also be 5 2 plus 3 it will also be 5 so this internal arrangement is nothing but it is our micro state and the sum which we are getting or the outer property which we are getting is our uh, macro state one more example if i want 7 then i can obtain 7 by either i can say 6 plus 1 or i can say it can be 5 plus 2 or either it can be 4 plus 3 or 3 plus 4 or i can say 2 plus 5 or i can say 1 plus 6 so these are the six methods by throwing two dice i can get the total sum 7 so over here also again this this is our micro state this is our micro state state this is our micro state and irrespective of the change in our micro state our macro state it remains same okay similarly uh, i will give you one more example uh, that is uh, we are having a coin and in coin or if we are having two coins and in two coins if i want one head and one tail so one head one head that is i want one head and one tail so the possible combination is that coin number one will give me head and coin number two will give me tail or coin number one will give me tail and coin number two will give me head so these are the two possibilities by which i can get head and tail so our macro system so these are the, our macro systems and this is our micro system so irrespective of the micro systems our macro system remains same so in this way we can say that micro system is or sorry the micro state 
is nothing but it is the internal arrangement of the particle in the system and the property which is arised because of that internal arrangement or the properties arising due to that is known as macro state okay and there is one more definition or there is one more property that is coming into picture and that is known as thermodynamic probability so it is thermodynamic probability and this thermodynamic probability is nothing but it is it can be defined as for a given macro state how many different micro states are possible so for a given macro state how many different micro states are possible it is known as thermodynamic probability so again take the example of 7 so 7 can be obtained by 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 methods so over here for micro for macro state 7 the thermodynamic probability will be 6 that is by 6 different ways we can obtain 7 similarly for 5 the thermodynamic probability is 4 so by 4 different ways we can obtain 5 so thermodynamic probability is nothing but it can be defined as for a macro state how many total number of different ways a micro state can be realized or micro state can be obtained now suppose we consider that we are we are having n1 n2 n3 and up to n n number of particles and these particles are arranged in n1 n2 n3 that is n1 will go in n1 n2 will go in n2 n3 and so on up to n n so the thermodynamic probability and this thermodynamic probability it is represented by w so thermodynamic probability w it is given by we can say n factorial upon n1 at capital n so n1 plus n2 up to sorry n1 factorial into n2 factorial up to n n factorial so this is how thermodynamic probability of arranging n particles in individual energy levels can be given so my micro state is nothing but it is in how many different ways we can or in how many different ways we can arrange the system or particles and the properties that are arising arising due to that internal arrangement is known as macro state and so again thermodynamic probability is nothing but it is the total number of ways by which a micro state can be realized for a given macro state so hope the topics are clear thank you very much